Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the um, High Rock over here, which is the Hierophant card. And this is about learning or getting some good advice uh, or sound uh, advice, so sound financial advice or sound advice uh, that will allow you to do things constructively. Uh, and, you know, weighing your options up, you've got that... Um, um, balance of there, the scale there. So you're weighing up the situation and you're uh, you're needing to actually go and get some advice from somebody. Um, uh, you could also be dealing with some kind of legal situation as well uh, within your work, um, within your career, and you might need to get some kind of professional legal advice as well with regards to whatever you're dealing with. Now, um, you've also got the Argonaut, and this is the card that is above. So you are making uh, uh, inroads or uh, making plans for the future over here. Um, and this is about, uh, you know, um, achievement uh, of whatever you've been uh, putting your mind to. So um, the Argonaut is also about travel. So you could be doing a lot of business travel or even branching out or expanding your business as well if you're involved in some kind of business. Um, so this is about, you know, setting out new inroads, um, uh, getting, um, broadening your horizons as well. Um, and you are very uncertain about things. So this is a decision that you have to make uh, because, you know, you're determined to succeed uh, and you are now faced with some kind of uh, decision that you have to make. Uh, about how you want to go forward. So you are trying to, you know, expand whatever you're doing, move out to a broader audience. Um, you know, there's a lot of problems. You've got that crocodile at the bottom over there. So there might be a lot of pitfalls. You might be facing a lot of challenges. Um, and, you know, you've got that, uh, you need to get some kind of advice uh, card coming in over there with that high rock. Now, in the past, you've got innovation, so something brand new beginning, or you started a new proje project, and, you know, you've started something new. You may have started your own business, or you may have, or, you know, um, started even a new job or something brand new in your career direction. Um, so that has come in, so this innovation card over there. And the prescription card is about, uh, you know, doing something that, um, you know, uh, it's almost uh, forbidden, if you like. So this is... Um, you know, there may have been some shady business going on in whatever uh, you've been doing, not whatever you, not necessarily what you've been doing, but, you know, maybe you've been dealing with people that have not been very forthright or maybe not being very honest. Um, uh, maybe you have had dealings with that. Maybe this is the reason why there's some kind of legal issue coming in uh, over here with this Hierarch card. So something has been going on that is a little, uh, you know, um, suspect uh, that has been going on uh around you or maybe the people that you've been dealing on and maybe you're the one that has had to call in the law and you've asked for you need to get some advice as well uh, you need to get um, some kind of input uh, legal input because something had happened that was uh, you know but illegal or forbidden or something that was not meant to be done was done uh, and um, or you know uh, there was some kind of practice uh, that shouldn't have been uh, done and now maybe you've needed to call in or you need to get some advice on how to deal with that Maybe this is where that uncertainty comes in about what to do in this particular situation. So you might be facing uh, some kind of uh, legal situation or needing to call in for some legal advice to sort this particular problem out. Now, you've got somebody around you that's very, very supportive. You've got this friendship card over here. Now, somebody's going to give you this advice, and it's going to be very, very enlightening. You've got this little lamp coming into this woman so something coming in for you from somebody that you can trust somebody that's reliable that you're working with so uh you know um whatever situation you're dealing with you're going to, going to need advice from somebody uh, uh to deal with it professional advice probably uh, but also some advice from your friends coming in or somebody that you can trust coming in uh to bring you clarity in that particular situation you've got the G regeneration card over here and uh, this is talking about uh you know um moving forward, but applying things that you've learned in the past in order for you to move forward. Almost a revival of something uh, because it is a regeneration. So, you know, you're bringing back something back to life again. Uh, you know, taking, roping in things from the past to um, to give birth to or regenerate a new project or, uh, you know, um, uh, maybe bring... Uh, 
old pa plans or old things that you learned from the past to make the, the whatever you're doing in the present progress. Because you seem to have started something brand new, but you, you, it seems like you're going to need to actually go and do some research, really, is what I'm trying to say, uh, in order to uh, make that particular project be successful. So there's some kind of issue that you're dealing with at the moment. You need to get some kind of advice. There is some advice coming in from some friend, uh, from friends around you or people that are supportive, but it's left you in a, a state, a dilemma as to what to do next, a little bit of uncertainty about how to proceed forward. Um, uh, but somebody is going to be able to give you some kind of advice to move forward. But you may also need to seek some kind of professional input uh, in order for you to move forward. So these are the energies for that week. Um, or those two weeks, rather. Um, so let's do the main read. Now, this is the Vanessa Tarot, and I have put this deck in the description box, so have a look. It's a very cute deck. Okay, so you've got the uh, Three of Swords over here. So, um, there's some kind of issue that you are facing over here. So, it could be something to do with legalities. Uh, there might have been some deception that went on over here, uh, because you've got these Three Swords over here. So, there might be also a breakdown of communication as well within with somebody. These are cycles that are ending over here. So, there's some kind of legal matter that you're dealing with on the work front as well. Uh, breakdown of communication, it's upset you quite a bit as well. Uh, and it might have involved a three-party situation. Uh, but like I said, it might be, um, it's, it's got something to do with something official or something legal, uh, uh, some kind of problem that happened and you're, uh, you know, you're having to deal with that. And you've also got that four of swords over here. So you need to take some time out uh, and go and re-strategize. So you need to distance yourself from that particular problem. You've got the three and then the four. So you need to take some time off to actually come up with a new plan, a new strategy. And like I said, you might need to get some legal advice as well in order to deal with this three of swords situation. Um, and, uh, you know, um, you've got the th uh, page of coins crossing it. So it has got something to do with the work situation. So maybe there's this new project that you started. There was something uh, not very, very above board that happened over there. And, uh, you know, uh, it's caused you to be very upset about it. So you're having to take some time out and re-strategize. You might even be considering actually going and getting another job. Uh, you might be thinking about you may you know, maybe this, whatever happened was so upsetting that you're planning on leaving it and walking away from it um, and looking, you're looking into other avenues. So you might be, uh, you know, going and, and actually job hunting at this particular moment. So you're considering a whole lot of other jobs and looking at how you can make extra money as well. So something has happened uh, that's left you quite upset. Now, you've got that five of swords over here. So uh, it looks like there's some kind of deception, defeat, Something has happened. There was a crisis that happened. Somebody has had victory over you. You can see this woman's taking all the swords and walking away. And it might be a legal issue that you've been facing or some kind of official uh, issue that you're, you're facing. You didn't win in this particular situation and you've had to walk away from it. So you have been, uh, you know, whatever you've been dealing with didn't go quite the way you wanted it to and you were not successful in it. And maybe this is the reason why you're so upset with that three of swords and you are, you know, you want to move away. Uh, so you've got the two of wands over here, so you're considering your options over here. So you've got uh, two, uh, you know, there's something that you want to do. Maybe you want to do something, uh, travel. There are two options available to you, uh, and it's moving away from this particular situation. So you're doing a lot of research into it, uh, and, you know, you're trying to make a decision about what you want to do next. You are at this crossroads, and it looks like there is some kind of legal uh, problem that you're facing as well. So you're weighing up all your options as well, and you're trying to look at all the pitfalls, and, you know, you're weighing that pros and cons up. Now, what you want, the Six of Wands, you want victory in this particular situation. So you wanted victory. This is what you were vying for. So something has happened, uh, you know, that has caused a lot of problems. And you are now thinking about how you can actually be victorious in this particular situation. So going into the future, you've got the Six of Coins. So you might be going through some financial problems as well. And you might be going and seeking some kind of, um, you know, um, financial help, financial aid. Uh, it looks like you may be going and maybe taking a loan out or looking for some kind of financial assistance. So whatever happened over here, whatever this legal issue was, it caused a lot of financial loss and it's left you having to go and seek 
some kind of uh, financial aid or you're looking for some kind of financial aid. Uh, it looks like it will come in for you. The money will come in for you, uh, but you'll have to go. You know, you may have to jump through a lot of hoops to actually get that money, but it will come to you. You've got the devil card over here. So you're dealing with a very negative situation. There's a lot of toxicity. You might be dealing with somebody who... Um, who is very controlling as well, uh, being very manipulated. So uh, whatever this uh, issue was that you had, you know, you were defeated in it, really. Uh, and it was by somebody, it could have been a, an earth sign energy, um, uh, namely Capricorn, which is the devil card. But this is about somebody at work. The devil card is ruled by Saturn, and it's showing manipulation and uh, being made to do things that you really are not, we're not happy doing, uh, working very, very hard, uh, and not seeing any rewards, no justice being served here. So it seems like that's where you are at, and you're feeling very, very negative, very, very upset, uh, very miserable about it. And it looks like you want to end that particular situation and move on. With the world card, it's putting an ending to a difficult situation um, and coming out of it and getting some kind of payoff as well. So you might be facing some kind of legal issue and you might be getting a settlement with this world card over here. But this is also, uh, you know, ending a cycle and moving on, taking all the talents and skills that you have and moving on to go and do something else, being more independent or working or branching off by yourself as well with the world card. And the world card also talks about travel as well. So you could be traveling as well. You've got the four of coins over here. You want financial stability. It seems like you're trying to save money because you've obviously had some kind of financial loss. The six of coins follows the five of coins. And the five of coins is about financial loss. So you're coming through a period of lack or loss. Uh, you could have even lost your job as well. Um, and maybe this is the reason why you're looking for new jobs. And uh, you, wait, you know, you're looking for stability. You're looking for financial stability at the moment. And you're trying to save money as well. You've got the Three of Coins coming in over here, the Knight of Cups, and the Magician card. So uh, start with the Knight of Cups. It looks like there's a message coming in over here. So if you've been putting out your CV or you've been making uh, application jobs, applications over here, and considering a whole bunch of different jobs with that page of coins, it looks like uh, messages or news is coming in about it. And it's good news. You've got a nice little heart there. So the postman is going to be bringing in some kind of good news for you. Now, it's the three of coins, so you'll be working. Uh, this is a new job offer that is coming in. There's obviously good news about a new job. And it looks like you're going to be working with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people. And it's going to be something stable and long-term here. And then you're going to be working very, very hard. You've got the magician card of here, doing a lot of communication, a lot of travel, working under a lot of deadlines, but it's going to be something stable. So there's that brand new job coming in over here. So although you're going to, through a bit of financial hardship, it looks like that's about to end right now and some good news is coming in. Uh, a new job offer coming in for you over here. That means that you're going to be very, very busy as well. So you're letting go, ending this old cycle with the world card over here. So the, that old job is now at an end. Uh, you know, you're leaving behind all this, try and leave behind this negativity and move forward. Um, you know, you might need to get some kind of financial assistance to just uh, tide you through this uh, difficult period, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, you... You know, you might be even recovering from an illness as well uh, with this four of coins, but you definitely need to take a little bit of a break. So you might be in that transition period at the moment where you're doing a lot of job hunting or hunting for a, a new job. But it looks like you're going to get some good news because it seems like, uh, you know, whatever you've been putting out there is, is going to get some um, uh, people are going to make some offers to you. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the... Um, Fairy Tarot, this is the Oracle read, and you've got the Strength card over here, which says the grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness, and time to embrace how wonderful you are. So with the Strength card, it's time to act. It's, a t it's an action card, uh, and you know, you're going to have to be very diplomatic when you do things, and whatever challenges are presenting itself, you're going to be able to sort it out with that Strength card. And it's also a card that is ruled by Leo, so you have to focus on yourself. Uh, be very selfish at this particular point and make sure that you're doing things for your good, not for anybody else's. So don't follow the crowd, in other words. You've got the Three of Spring over here, which says, plan your next steps with the eye for long term. Have patience. There are more good, good things to come and satisfaction from a job well done. So the Three of Spring is always about travel, uh, but it's also about collaborating with a lot of people. Now you've got the Three of Coins over here and the Three of Spring, so you're going to be working with a group of people, a lot of communication going on over there, and maybe some travel coming on over here. And you've got to get a lot of recognition for the work well done. You can see in both these cards say that satisfaction from a job well done. And the last card is the sixth spring, and this is the victory that you've been hoping for here. You've been 
hoping that's on your mind and it looks like it's coming in for you with this fairy uh, for the with the oracle read the fairy tarot and it says wonderful news is on its way to you smart choices bring rewards success and public recognition so this new direction that you're going to be going in uh, you know, it starts off with you getting some good news and, uh, you know, working with a lot of people. You've got that magician, so uh, you've got all the talents and skills you need to be able to cope with it. And then it finally ends with the Six of Spring, which is a very, very positive card and says there's wonderful news and wonderful success and recognition for your, your work. So although it seems like you're going through a very difficult time right now, it looks like things are going to turn around for you. And uh, there's a very, very positive change coming in. So try not to be negative. Um, so I hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye